Hi everybody, Cindy Zellers here from Cindy Stamping Studio. Must I say, surprise, I made it. I am so glad to be with you tonight. I thought I was going to have to cancel my Facebook Live, but as it turned out, they didn't need me in the woods to help with my husband's maple syrup operation. That made me happy. So while I wait for some people to to hop on and hopefully people will hop on you know because first I canceled and then I said I'd be here so you know that's kind of I know um misleading or whatever you want to call it I see somebody's on here but I don't know who that is so make sure you say hi to me so that I know it's you um as I said I'm from the central part of Wisconsin, and right now it's supposed to be spring. We have our doubts. It's been more like winter the last week. Lori from Minnesota, that's who. See, I didn't recognize you. And there's Courtney and Tracy. Oh, there's Ronnie. Oh, that's nice to hear that. Your grandson is sure the spitting image of his dad. Remember him well. Enjoy, and thanks for being on tonight. Well, yes, thank you. Everybody says that little Easton looks just like his dad, and you should probably know because I'm sure Justin, my son, was um, one of your students. So, yeah. And there's Linda. I'm glad to see that you're watching tonight. And I didn't know what to do. And Jim says, well, you know, maybe if... You know, it was sunny out, which you'll see in a minute, and hopefully all of the trees are going to wake up and give us some sap, which they haven't been, they've been pretty stingy, and we haven't been getting a lot of sap. But Jim was cooking today, and he just came in the house, and he got six gallons. So that was good to have him out there cooking, and I didn't really mind it. I thought, well, if we're busy, we're busy, I'll help. I went down the woods, and it's that air is still cold. So I don't know. I told him I can't, I, I'm going to still try and do my Facebook Live, so here I am. I am happy to be here. Um, make sure you leave me a comment. You know when you do that, that gets you in on my weekly door prize drawing. And um, if you have the time, share. The odds of winning when you share are huge. So you have a really good chance of winning when you share. So, um, But you have to also leave me a comment. So comments get a prize. Sharing gets a prize. Um, if you don't have a chance to watch it all or you decide later on, oh, I want to watch that again, I always do a Facebook Live repeat on Thursday on my blog, which is Cindy Stamping Studio. You also can subscribe to my blog, or you can even subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search for Cindy Stamping Studio, and you should be able to find it. And you can see all of my um, YouTube uh, videos. And tonight's Facebook Live is number 105, and today's date is March 28th. Can you believe it? It's almost the end of March. I just can't believe it. So, yeah, it's just this, it just, I've been watching the weather on my Kindle for Jim, and it was like, last Thursday was snowing and rain and icy, Friday was snow squalls, and it's been cold ever since. It's, and then, of course, when we go down the woods, everything's froze up. All of his pumps are froze. It's been a nightmare and very frustrating, too, I might add. So, okay, what we have happening this week? Well, tomorrow night is my uh, in-person kit class, and that is... It's always the last Tuesday of the month, so tomorrow night in Nilsville, I'll be meeting with um, my ladies. Um, the class to go is still available. Uh, it depends how many cards you pick, but if it's five cards of the same design for $7, 
You can mix and match two. You can do 10 cards and any combination. For $12, 15 cards for $17. For the class to go, that you have to pay the postage. So it would be $17 plus approximately $5 for postage. All you need, the kits come to you with written instruction and color photos of the cards. And all you need are uh, similar stamp sets, ink, and um, adhesive. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, let's see. I do have a card to show you. It's a sneak peek for my technique class, which is coming up the 12th of April. And then we'll get right into the door prizes. Well, hi, Kay. Glad to see you didn't get lost from my confusing cancellation and then I'm back on, right? I know, Linda, you do my kits every month and apparently you enjoy them. So I am very happy to hear that. So, okay, let's see what else. Oh, I have to show you. I can show you this. Look at what came in the mail today. Ah, the new annual catalog for stamping up. Oh, man. I am. I always get so excited about that. And it's so much fun when a new catalog comes out. Of course, the not so fun is the retirement list. But stamping up is having a last chance sale right now of retiring annual items from the annual catalog. So if there's, I'm going to be using a lot of retired, uh, retiring items in the next uh, month. And it's only why supplies last. So if there's something you've had your eye on, I'd get on it. Also, when you pick me as your demonstrator, I'm having my own little sale. And that's for every order over every order at least fifty dollars I am in I will send you this whole package of the rave wave rhinestones okay and um, there are a hundred and sixty eight of these in this package and um, uh, it's an eight dollar value and it's just my way of thanking you when you pick me as your demonstrator and um, I have to let you know, though, this is for online orders only. I can help you place an order if you're not good at doing something online, but this is not this is not uh, good in conjunction for any of my classes or stamp of the month because you get the benefit, you get your own prizes for classes, and the stamp of the month, that's that's totally separate. I don't want anybody to be confused. But when you place an uh, online order for $50, I will send you a package of the Wave Rhinestones. And you can see I've used a few of them up, but they're still really pretty. Okay. All right. Door prizes. Right? Um, hi, Rita. I'm glad you're watching. So happy to see you here. For comments. For commenting last week, I have these cute um, sequins that are retiring. I'm going to be so sad. They were part of the essential, essential sequence in the embellishment section of last year's annual catalog. So, you know, I've ordered a lot of these. It's just they were handy to have. For commenting, this is going to get sent to Marsha Lynn Spatek from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. So, Marsha, I'll be sending these to you and for sharing. Like I said, your odds are really good for sharing. And I use random.org, and it picks a number for me. I start at the top of my sharing, and I count. So for sharing, these Calypso Coral sequins are going to be going to Bernie Seidel. She won last week, too, and she's winning another 
another uh, set tonight. So it's good odds when you share, but leave comments too. You never know when you might win. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera because I have a few things to show you and then we'll get stamping. Okay, all right. Now I will flip the camera. There, now you can see outside and you can see Jim's truck and how dull it looks, which is okay. All right, let me, whoops, sorry about that. There we go. Get everything. There. I think that's pretty good. I will, I will get me on my laptop because I like to do the laptop because then I can see for sure that the picture is good. Uh, my Kindle, I, it doesn't matter whose, um, whose, there we go. All right. Okay. All right. I cleared. Yeah, it's a little bit. I don't know why it does that, but you'll get the hang. This is what the new catalog cover looks like. Isn't it pretty? So, yeah, I can't wait to start um, using it. will be pretty soon. All righty. I'll put that right there so Tanner doesn't get it. The card I wanted to share with you tonight is this card. It is my sneak peek for my technique class that's coming up in, let me lower this. It seems awful high. There, maybe that's better. Okay. All right. This is my sneak peek for my technique class that's coming up the 12th of April. This class is available um, virtually, and it's also available in person. And what the, the technique is, hybrid embossing folders and dies. And as you can see, um, this used the Bloom hybrid embossing folder and the Bloom dies. The colors we used was Flirty Flamingo, Pear Pizzazz. Oh, you're very welcome, Patty. I'm glad that you received your door prize. And there's Renee. She is Bernie's daughter. So when you talk to Bernie, she's not watching yet tonight because she was busy. You can tell her she was a door prize winner. So, okay. Anyway, I wanted to show that to you. I will be posting on my blog the invite, and you can sign up for that class before the 12th of April. Okay, the stamp set we're using tonight is called Prize Peony. It is in the annual catalog. It's not in the mini catalog, but the bad thing is it's retiring and I just used it. This is the first time I've used it. It was one of those sets that first I had gotten it way before Christmas. Well, that was when I was making fall cards. Then I was making Christmas cards. Then I was making cards from the mini catalog. And now the retirement list come out. And this is, you know, it's like, this is a great set. Why have I been wait? What have been waiting for? We're going to be using this prize peony set and also the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which I am mourning the fact that these are retiring. And we're also going to use this embossing folder called Pretty Flowers, which I am also mourning because it's also retiring. And we're going to use the Home... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. Let me look. Home, the heart and home doilies. 
And I think these are retiring also. So, oh well. We'll get over it. But, gosh, that hurts, right? So, okay, we need this. And I'll put this aside. I got my packet here. We're going to be using a basic gray base. That's our usual size. Five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Okay. Um, we're going to be using the Pretty Flowers Embossing Folder. This is just a regular embossing folder. It's not a uh, 3D one, but it's really quite pretty using the Magenta Madness um, layer, which is retiring because it's an in color. And we got new in colors coming. Oh, you're going to love them when you see them. And yes, I have seen them. Getting ready to place my pre-order the 2nd of April. Whoa. That was really crooked. And if you're a demonstrator, that's one of the things we get to do is place our order early and I I, th I think people are going to love just love the new in colors because I love them yes that's right Kay even though we lose some things we get some new things and that's just like Christmas hi Julie so glad that you could join me okay then I took a piece of basic white and one of the stitch so sweetly the second to the largest or third to the largest no it's the largest largest die and cut it out and that's going to be our main image okay all right so I'm going to take my peony stamp set and I still, I don't get rid of all of my stamp sets. I keep quite a few of them, actually. And this is one of those that I will probably keep. This peony reminded me, that's why I bought it. This reminded me of my grandma. She had the pretty peonies in all the different colors. And they always were so, um, they always smelled so good. Both of my grandmas did, for that matter. Okay, I inked that up. And so let's, let's go and stamp that right here. Just like that. So it's kind of a soft image. And we're going to take our basic gray ink and stamp love and thanks to a dear friend okay hi Julie did I say hi to you before I um, maybe I did we're gonna stamp that right at the bottom so it looks like that and then I want to close this for now so I don't get confused and bring back my uh, smoky slate. And in the stamp set is this like stitched little diamonds. I want to go and okay, ink it up and then stamp off. And just add a little bit of texture to my words. So it just isn't so white. I don't know how else to say it. Okay. Um, I've already 
I already glued this down. So now we're going to take some dimensions and go and put them on the back. And hi, Connie Bushman. Thank you for joining me. And before we take the backing off, let's add, yes, I want to add a piece of ribbon. This is Magenta Madness. Um, uh, it just says ribbon. I usually it'll say what kind, but not today. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're going to go and tie a cheater's knot with this, and then I'm going to put it on my cart. Well, hi, Arliss. I didn't see you hop on before. So happy to see you here tonight, and thank you for sharing. It means the world to me. I'm tying this. It's always the joke of my stamping ladies that Cindy ties a lot of cheater's knots because I do not like tying bows. Even though I do have a bow tire jig, I still don't like tying bows. Okay, we're gonna put it right here. Okay, that's gonna, whoops. That'll work out just perfect. Okay, and then what I wanna do is Take a piece of tape for this end, and then let's get another piece of tape ready for the other end. Make sure I have it straight. There we go. And that's what my cheater's knot looks like. And now I just take my snips and cut it. And there we go. Let me trim these ends. It works out pretty good. There. And you save a lot of ribbon this way. I guess that's why I like to. Okay, let's see. Oh, now my doily. I want to go and add that doily. I want to add that doily just like... Like so. Yes. Whoopsie. And I'm going to also use a piece of tape for that. Okay. I have to go and move my dimensional. I kind of forgot about um, the doily part. But that's okay. We still got it. There we go. There. So there's that. It's going to go right there. That's a great color combo, Courtney. Yes, I agree. It is. The Magenta Madness was probably not of all the in colors for 20. Uh, for 20. 2020 to 2022, Magenta Manus was not my favorite. It just was so bright. But when you pair it up with a color that isn't so bright, ooh, it really, it really shows, it sets it off. It doesn't look straight. Oh, it might have to leave it that way. Because it really stuck. Okay, so now we have our inside piece. And I'm taking a piece of designer series paper. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. And if there's a little bit showing on the back, 
we'll just take our snips and cut that right off. All right, now I want to take back my basic gray, yep, and stamp my verse, which is Your Sweet Friendship Refreshes the Soul. I'm sure everybody has that friend that this card would be perfect for. And I want to back to my smoky slate and my X's and X's that I stamped off. And I just want to put one right here, just like so. Okay. Let's co cover this up. Hi, Bev Boone. Thank you for watching. Let's put the let's put our inside piece. Yes, the the pink really pops with the basic gray. There's our card, not quite done. I have I only have these two gems. I have the square and these two circle ones. That's all I got left, though, so I have used it. I'll put one here. I'll just give the square ones to Andy for when she comes over. There. And that completes our card. So, yeah. Um, that's okay if you're late, Bev. I'm just finishing up, but um, I just want to let everybody know that I appreciate you tuning in, even though when I said I wouldn't be able to make it. This is my card using the prize petunias. It's a great card, so sorry for your loss. Love and thanks to a dear friend. My thoughts are with you. Going to be a great sympathy card and friendship card. So we got these beautiful uh, beautiful peonies. And get them now because they are discounted and they are part of the last chance uh, sale that Stamping Up is doing. So there, that's that's my card. I'm glad that you liked it. I appreciate you stopping in tonight and taking time from your busy day. Have a great rest of the week. It's supposed to be sun, well, sunny tomorrow, maybe. You never know in Wisconsin. If you don't like the weather, just stick around. It'll change. Have a great rest of the week, everybody. I'll see you next Monday. Take care. Thank you.